What's happening everyone? My name is Phil with PrecisionLED.com and today we're talking about our standard Kepler series LED headlights and our Quantum Premium series LED headlights and how they compare. Now, the first thing we need to understand is how we at Precision LED measure our LED headlights for you, our customers. We have four principles that we go by and test against. The first is brightness, and we measure that in lux. Lux is a measurement of light output at a specific distance. For us in our lab, we measure all of our lighting products in a headlight housing at 10 feet distance. The second measure is the cutoff or the beam pattern. How well it performs within the headlight housing and cuts off to prevent glare against the oncoming driver as well as the uniformity of that beam pattern. How far does it disperse the light out as well as to the left and the right to give you the best field of view. The third measurement is temperature. Whether the LED bulb uses a active system like a fan, which our Kepler and Quantum series do, or a passive system, which might be heating coils or no coils and just lets natural heat dissipation occur. The fourth factor are the components, the size of the LED driver, as well as the quality of its construction and how easy that component is to install in both a open enclosure as well as a sealed enclosure in your headlight system. Let's take a look now at some of the key differences between the Quantum Premium LED headlight and the Kepler Series Standard headlight. Now, for brightness, we measure everything based on lux. We use an LED light meter, and we measure the standard distance of 10 feet in our lab to determine the average brightness of the bulb. The Quantum Series is a 3500 lux system, and the Kepler Series is rated at 2800 lux. So that's about a 15% difference in overall light output. Now, in terms of beam pattern, we use the SAE J575 low beam headlight pattern to measure and rank bulb uniformity as well as its cutoff line. When you look at the chart, you can see there's a dotted line that comes across and angles up on the passenger side. That's your cutoff line. How well these bulbs perform against the cutoff line is pretty important to how much glare you produce to oncoming traffic. Both are pretty good with the cutoff and don't really have a difference in that measurement. What's the key difference is the uniformity of the beam pattern. If you look at the chart, there are 15 points on the chart where we measure brightness. And the better the uniformity of the beam pattern means there's more light being dispersed to the center as well as the left and the right for a better field of view. The Quantum Series has superior beam pattern, meaning you'll see oncoming traffic better on your left and you'll also see the passenger side on the passing lane on the right with the Quantum Series. The Kepler Series is a great performer, just not as good as the Quantum Series. Now in terms of heat dissipation and temperature, these are both active fan systems, meaning there's a power fan on the back of each of these LED bulbs. They also both use a copper core to transfer heat from the LED bulb back to the aluminum core for heat dissipation. Now the Quantum Series being a brighter bulb requires more power, meaning that there is more heat associated with the bulb. This is 144 degrees Fahrenheit operating temperature, and this one is 126 degrees Fahrenheit operating temperature. They both do a good job of dissipating heat constant, but the Quantum is a slightly hotter bulb. The last point we need to consider is the overall design of the components, as well as the size of the system. The Quantum series uses better quality components and a miniaturization of the chipset. So the LED driver itself is much smaller. Also, the quality of the wiring is a little bit better, so they are more flexible, meaning it's a little bit easier to install inside an enclosed space. The standard series uses a larger, bulkier design and is a little bit more difficult to work with when you're working in a tight space. Regardless of which system you choose, you're going to have a great experience. Both LED headlights are superior to the halogen lighting in your vehicle and represent the best quality and brightness you'll find anywhere in today's lighting industry. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach us by email at help at precisionled.com or give us a call. Again, my name is Phil and thanks for tuning in.